Hello, everyone. My name is Lexi. I am a sales and marketing coordinator with Delta Dental of South Dakota. Today, I'm going, going to walk you through the DDSD patient lookup, um, the new platform that we've created for you guys, and highlight some of the key features. So first things first, here is our main login landing page. Um, your username and password from the previous old patient lookup will work here. Um, if you do not have an account, you can click the button down below to get signed up. So as you log in with your username and password, you will be taken to our landing search page. Um, you'll notice your dentist information will be listed up at the top. If you are on this tab, this will be the Delta Dental South Dakota lookup. If you select over to here, this will be the national Delta Dental lookup for all member companies. Um, today, I'm going to focus on the Delta Dental of South Dakota patient lookup. So biggest change you'll notice is that the search criteria is different than the previous lookup. Um, we have now changed from subscriber ID and subscriber date of birth to patient first name and last name. One thing I do want to point out is that if your patient's first name, um, if they go by an abbreviation or a short name, it does have to be the full first name and the full last name. So if you run into any issues, um, go ahead and give your patient a call and you can confirm what is registered on their subscriber ID card and go from there. But today we'll enter the first name, last name, and date of birth are for our test patient. And what that will do is that will bring up all of the plan details for that member's plan. Um, so up at the top, you'll notice subscriber ID, their personal information, what type of plan they're on, and then also the benefit year that correlates with this specific plan. Um, here is the member section. I will get into that in a little bit. But as you scroll down, you'll see the benefit summary, including um, all the maximum and deductible details. You'll see coverage percentages listed here, and then we'll get into the benefit levels. One key new feature from the old lookup to the new lookup is our benefit classes. We have broken it down for you guys by specific CDT code, and you can find all of the correlating information here. Um, we've also listed our prevention pays program. So if it's excluded from the max, you guys can find that listed in this column if that applies to that program or to that specific plan. The next thing I'll talk about, and this may look very familiar if you've seen our fact stacks, is the plan details. So anything that is covered, for example, occlusal guards will be listed yes in green. Anything that is not covered for that specific plan will be listed no in red. So take note of that. We've also incorporated a print feature. Um, so if you would like to print that, go ahead and do so. Some versions, your print feature will be relatively long or numerous pages. So please use the custom feature and print the only, only print the pages that you need. Um, the biggest thing as I dive into our member section here and probably our most important piece is each specific member will be listed here. Um, it will also include if that member is active or termed on this specific policy referring to these details. And then we've also added in, we have preventive details, which you can find here, and then EOB details and claim details that I'll get in in a moment. So if we click on the details tab, what that will show us is all information for the member that you have listed at the top. Um, so this will show any of the eligibility and accumulation specific to that patient. So that includes any amounts used, if they've paid out any of their deductibles, if they have them, and we also list out preventive procedure availability. So this, I want to make a note of, um, this is for services that were done. This is not services that have to be paid out. It was the last time that a patient had an exam that we have history of. So you'll notice this goes from newest to oldest dates, and you can see that correlating across. You can also find if a patient has health through oral wellness benefits or smile smart benefits, if they do, it will be listed, and then you can click the um, specific hyperlink, and it will show what those benefits are. Another key feature that we have in this portal is sealant history. So you can find that down to the specific tooth number and the specific date. So if the patient were to have anything on file with us, that is where you would find it. But we'll go back, and now we'll look into the claim info tab. One thing I want to point out about the claim info tab is this is only for claims that have processed through our system. So if any of your claims are processing or if they are in for review, they will not be displayed here until they have completely processed. 
This is also only displaying claims for your office. So make note of that. But let's say we want to go ahead. Um, you guys receive EFT payment, for example, and you want to look at a specific claim or go reference the EOB. You can go ahead and find whatever date you're looking for. Um, you can even verify by amount and then select details. What that's going to do is that will pull up the exact same EOB as the patient would receive um, and list all of the details here. You can print this entire page should you choose to do so. Otherwise, you can view the information on the screen. So you'll notice that the tooth is listed, um, the procedure date to which you guys with the dental office submitted on the claim. Um, if there is a procedure to amount, that is what Delta Dental of South Dakota has dropped it down to or paid out to, um, and then any of the correlating amounts. So notice the totals will line up for the charts at the bottom. That's something you'll want to make note of. So for example, the write-off total for this entire EOB was $4. And the final thing, um, anything for condition codes and processing policies will be listed over here. Um, to understand what that condition code or processing policy is, you can scroll down to the condition code section and it will explain what that specific um, code means. So that is what we have here. Um, I do want to make a note that if you notice anything or have any suggestions for us, we would be happy to go over some of those details for you. Um, we're always incorporating new pieces of information into this platform. We want it to be as user friendly for you guys to check patient eligibility. So please send that feedback into our professional relations at Delta Dental SD team. And we would be happy to view that and hopefully integrate it into future versions. But that is all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed the new platform and have a great rest of your day.